Hey folks, hope you're doing good today, having a good week and all that jazz. Now we're on to September Roundup, and this is a nice one. Uh, I want to highlight these, this kind of genre and these bands because it's a really nice show. We did actually do a number of shows of this genre uh, because this is a genre I want to keep up with. It's the latest and greatest, freshest stuff. Uh, and basically, if you're not into this stuff, you know, you're kind of getting left behind. Uh, so we're Keeping up with this stuff on the channel, but this was a really nice show. Three super heavy bands, the most modern, freshest, new metalcore type stuff coming from the younger generations. And I just love to see that the younger generations aren't just regurgitating the past, aren't just kind of nostalgic for the past and doing all of that crap, which some genres are doing. Uh, they are pushing it forward. They're fresh. They're coming with new stuff. Because of the freshest mixes and how loud and punchy and powerful they are nowadays, it's an experience, it's a different and a fresh experience to listen to the music as well, because it sounds different to how it did in the past. So these bands have got a lot going for them. Uh, and if you want to check out the latest stuff, this is it, you know. Uh, there's other new stuff out, but I think this is the heaviest, most punchy, in-your-face, forceful dopest metal going at the moment uh, and, and you really want to keep an eye on these bands if, you, if you'd like to keep a, an, an eye on the latest stuff uh, so this is a real nice one three sick bands to check out uh, but as well we did do a number of different shows so if you just want to check out other stuff like this type in new metal core into my search uh, and there's a number of other bands and dope uh, shows to check out as well so there you go that's what i'm going to uh, leave you with today uh, check this one out if you missed this one earlier in the year uh, and that's it. We'll see you around tomorrow. Hope you're having a good one. Cheers. Bye. Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now we're putting stuff out the free queue for this week so far. Uh, and what I've done today is because we checked out some new hardcore yesterday, which I absolutely loved, just blew me away. Uh, I've been digging through my metalcore queue, my new metalcore queue today, uh, and pulled out three super fresh bands. Uh, this is just the latest wave of metalcore. I'm calling it new metalcore because there are some new metal influences in these bands because these are the younger generation who've grown up with new metal as a staple of metal and it has you can hear that it's got an influence on their riffs and guitar tones and drumming and things like that and the vocals um so yeah i'm calling it new metalcore i'm not sure if that is actually a defined genre yet but i think it is going to be going forward um from these this latest wave of metalcore because it is different it sounds dope super heavy as well the first band we're going to check out are called grievances their track is called constrictor let's give these guys a spin Super heavy, massive.
These fresh bands absolutely kill it. Holy shit. That was an experience, man. Jesus. I want to check where these guys are from, see if it tells me, because a lot of these bands seem to be coming out of the UK. Doesn't seem to say. Uh, but man, that was absolutely superb. These fresh bands, these modern bands and the younger generations who are making metal now, there was a period there kind of 2015-ish, where metalcore for me got real stale uh, and they started moving into all that melodic metalcore and stuff like that. But all the tracks just seem to have the same format, the same kind of riffs breaking into the chorus in the same way. There's a good period there for a kind of four or five years where metalcore really didn't do a lot for me because it just wasn't doing anything new. It wasn't going anywhere. The last couple of years, this fresh wave of new metalcore is absolutely killing it and coming through with a, with a freshness that you just haven't heard before. In the riffs, in the sound, but also within the mix, they've just absolutely cranked everything up. Got the heaviest sound you've ever heard. Some of the slamming sounds in there were just as heavy and as slamming as it could possibly go. It sounds like a bomb going off, you know. Uh, it's amazing. It's a really sick experience to listen to this kind of music as well because the energy is just coming at you full force the whole time. Uh, they do break out into some more atmospheric areas, which I like as well. It's, it's, it's diverse. But for the most part, it's just pummeling heavy in your face uh slapping you around the ears with the sound absolutely love it. it's, it's like an experience to listen to this stuff really loud with headphones love it but man this fresh these fresh bands and this fresh generation you might have thought man they've run out of riffs and there's nothing kind of fresh going on in metal anymore but these bands are proving that wrong uh there's there's dope riffs kind of genty, balmy, because of the guitar tones nowadays, they can just use a single string and it still sound like boom, a massive sound. Um, and because of that, there's different riffs available to you. You haven't always got to be playing power chords and thick chords. You can just be bowing about on one string, almost like a bass player uh, and doing bends and stuff. And it will still fill out the sound because your tone is just so massive. The drummer was absolutely sick in this band. It did loads of cool, sexy frill bits, stuff on the toms and stuff on the cymbals, accenting the riffs, filling in the breaks uh, to just be really interesting and cool. Super sick. Uh, I really like the video for that one as well. Just everyone going off in the video and a visual that suits the sound as well. Sick. Grievances. We'll be checking you out again because I was very impressed with that one. Very nice. The next band is called Chaos Sequence. The track is called Fault Index, and this is featuring Aaron Matz of 1056. We've had 1056 on the channel before. Let's give it a spin. Nice slappy kick in this one. A 
nice atmospheric edge to these bands as well though. There's always some high pitched wailing summer going on as well. It's just one string. Sick, man. I love what these guys do as well with all the kind of modern mixing stuff and adding in electronic edges and stuff to this music. It's just super dope. You know, it's stuff you haven't heard before. And for me, that really pricks my ears up because I'm looking for stuff I haven't really heard for before. Uh, and I think these these are, these fresh bands are bringing something fresh to the table. It's not just a regurgitation of something that's come before with a little bit different to it. Uh, it's totally new and fresh. Uh, man, it just iterated again with these guys particularly, how once you've got a massive guitar tone that you can get nowadays with these digital tones and stuff, you could, you could just have one string on your guitar pretty much uh, and you'd still sound as thick and actually more heavy than all those 2000s bands uh, who were, you know, playing thick, chunky guitar chords and stuff like that because it, the tones nowadays are just ridiculous. Sick! Now we've checked out these guys before and I wanted to put them in again because we haven't seen them for a while and they're super dope. This is Seeker. The track is called Face to Face. Let's give it a spin. and energy in these guys. Drum 
fans are nice and these fans as well. They're doing cool shit. Sick. Bit of a corn influence in there. That's why I say you can tell that these bands have grown up listening to new metal as a part of metal. You know, when I was growing up, new metal was a brand new thing and it was just being introduced into the metal scene and we were all just getting on board with it in a fresh way. So it didn't really have a, a lot of chance to influence kind of within the framework of what metal is. Um, the, the bands that we were making at the time. But these guys nowadays, kind of 20 years down the line, they've had new metal always within their lives once they've been listening to metal. Um, and it's kind of been a staple part of the metal scene. So it's not a freshness and it's kind of, you know, it's, it's, set, it's, it's set its stall within the metal scene. Um, and you can tell that it's influenced these guys in that way, the same way that kind of hardcore influenced our bands and things like that. Um, so it's sick to hear it coming through. And I think it has brought a freshness to these bands because they think about metal in a different way to, you know, the way I did when I was 20, um, because we didn't have these influences ingrained in the scene just yet. Uh, so it's sick. I really, really enjoy it. Um, you know, I might be 20 years older than these guys and kind of, you know, a bit dad core as far as they're concerned, but I am so on board with this latest scene of, of metalcore, metalcore or new metalcore, whatever you want to call it. I think it probably needs a, a new name for itself, gentcore or something. I don't know. Um, but they're, they're pulling on a whole bunch of different cool influences, but actually coming with freshness as well, new ideas um, and stuff you haven't heard before. And it is because, you know, the modern tones have brought a different way of playing the guitar to the scene as well. It's not all just all about power chords anymore and chunkiness. You can do a lot of stuff on single string. And when you, you know, when you just drop it down to notes instead of chords, there's, there's loads more different stuff you can do and bend the notes and things like that. Uh, so they're coming with a real freshness to this stuff. It's stuff you haven't heard before. It's not, as I say, it's not just like a regurgitation of some old. Um, so I really love it. I think these bands are absolutely killing it. Fair play to the younger generation for, you know, thinking outside the box and coming to the table with some fresh as well. Um, because it does seem to be the case within other music genres that, you know, it's just a cyclical thing of, oh, you know, it's been 20 years since we've had kind of, you know, post-punk. Um, so we'll bring that background now and things like that. So I, I like to hear some really fresh and new from the younger generations to show that, you know, they've not run out of ideas. They're not just kind of harking back to the past and getting nostalgic. They're pushing forward with new and fresh stuff and evolving the scene in a new way. Dope. Really, really love to see it. So there's three absolutely killer, uh, super fresh bands to check out. And if you want to hear the latest stuff, this is it. You know, I think this is going to be the latest big thing going forward. Um, and just absolutely blowing you away with the sound. Such a heavy sound. You know, these, these younger guys, uh, as I say, at one point there where I thought, Metal cores going soft because everyone was singing and doing big melodic choruses and stuff. 
These guys have obviously said, sod that. We don't want all of that in our music. We just want to go heavy as hell and pummeling uh, and absolutely slap the listener around the ears. They get the job done nicely. Very, very sick. So hope you've enjoyed that today, guys. That's what we've got for you today. If you want to get your uh, band on the channel this week, we can still do that. Head over to the website, make a submission. If you've made it this far into the video, think about giving it a like. That'd be super dope. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with some more cool bands. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.